what up? Um, yeah, more in the same clothes, which means I recorded the video the same day. Or maybe it just means I wear the same clothes every day. I don't know. You have to guess which one's which. Um, but I know what's true. So um, we have lesson number two. It's our second lesson of semester two. Um, our first week of school back and we just got to hit the ground running, right? We got to do things right from the get go and we got to get that grade um, that you got to earn that grade, man. Let's, 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 let's make it right. So um, I want to kind of talk to you about how this lesson is going to be a little different than the one before. Um, it's going to be simple. I'll tell you that right now because I want to keep it simple and make it simple for you kids. Okay. So what we did last, our last lesson was like this. Okay, we had a line segment, right? We had a point here and we had a point here. And I wanted you to find the midpoint, the point right in the middle. Okay, that's called a midpoint. And technically that's not, doesn't look like in the middle to me. So that kind of does, right? We want you to find that midpoint, right? Middle point, midpoint. Okay, that's that was our last lesson. Okay, this lesson's a little different because watch what they have here. You have a point, they give you the midpoint, they give it to you. So you have this one and you have this one, but they want you to find the other end point. So this is what they're looking for. So what's different now is, hey, we've got this, we've got this guy, let's say two, four, and we've got this guy, which is six, six. They want you to find this one. How do we find that other end point? Okay, and this all comes down to a pattern. So let me show you what happens here. This is a pattern type of problem. I'm not going to teach you the formula because the formula is a lot of work. And I'm going to teach you kind of a little bit of a shortcut here. Uh, it only works when we're looking for the other end point. Okay, so we're going to we're going to we're going to do a little pattern action here. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at our X's and we try and figure out what happens, how do we get from two to six? From two to six, don't we have to add four, right? Two plus four is what's gonna give us six. So we do that same pattern over here, plus four. So what's six plus four? Ooh, that's 10. Okay, now let's look at a pattern here for the second guy. We have four and we have six, right? We got our Y's. Okay, so how do we get from four to six? Four, five, six, don't we have to add two? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that same pattern. We're gonna add two here. Six plus two is eight. And this would be our final answer. Okay, it all comes down to a pattern. Now, it's not always gonna be plus. Okay, do you see how we have plus here? We have plus here, we have plus here, we have plus here. Sometimes it's gonna be, hey, you have to subtract, right? We have to subtract. Okay, so let's go back to our lesson and see what's going on here. So a lot of this comes down to a number line. And a number line looks like this. Remember, on a number line, we have zero, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That does not look like ten. Okay, those are our positive numbers, right? Then we have our negative numbers over here. Okay, so why don't I make this zero black because zero is just like a really unique number. And let me extend my number line over here to get maybe over to like negative 10. So negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And you might be thinking I'm a little crazy doing this number line at the top, but it's gonna help you so much now, remember, if we're going to the right, if we're moving to the right, it's plus. Okay, if we're moving to the left, it's minus. So look what we're doing here. Do you see how they say, hey, given the midpoint, hey, I gave you the midpoint, and I gave you an end point. I want you to find the other end point. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put end point, and then we're going to put it right here. Okay, so... If you don't have the notes, copy the problem from number one down. If you do have the notes, you're ready to go. So what is our pattern? We got to get from negative 10 all the way over to three. 
So see how negative 10 is over here? And we got to get all the way over to 3. Do you see how we're moving from negative 10 to 3? So we're going to be adding since we're going to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's how we get from negative 10 to positive 3 is plus 13. So what we do is we do the same thing here. We say plus 13. So what's 3 plus 13? That's 16. Easy, right? Okay, let's do the same thing here. We got to go from 1 to negative 2. Do you see how we're on the y's now? It's the second number. So we got to go from 1 to negative 2. We'll start at 1, and then we're going to go over to negative 2. 1, 2, 3. Boom, we move 3 times, and we move to the left. Since we're moving to the left, it's going to be minus, so we have minus 3. So we're going to do the same thing here, minus 3. Okay, negative 2, minus 3. Watch, negative 2, minus 3. 1, 2, 3, boom, negative 5. Or you could just put it in your calculator. You could do negative 2 minus 3 in your calculator, and it's going to spit out negative 5. Okay? And that's what we have going on. Okay, real simple. It's all pattern-based. Okay, so let's look. My computer's making some noise right now. I don't know if it's happy with me or not. Let me hear. I don't know what's going on, but okay. So we're doing number two together now. So let's copy this down. We're going to write endpoint, or we're trying to find this other endpoint. And he's going to be right here. And we don't know what he is, but we're trying to find him. Okay, so make sure you have this down. Whether you have the notes already printed out, copy this down. If you don't have the notes, press pause, copy it down, and then press play when you're ready. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with our X's. Remember, this is our X the first number and the first number. So it's like, how do I get from six to one? If you know in your head, oh, you just subtract five, okay, minus five, that's easy for you. You could know that. Okay, if you don't know that, come up here to your number line that you create and go from six to one. So you start at six and then go to one. One, two, three, four, five. So I had to move five times and to the left means negative. See, then we do the same thing here, minus five. So from one, minus five would give us negative four. And if you don't know how to do that, you would just start at one and you'd move to the left five times. Okay, for the second one, look, we gotta go from nine to four, right? From nine to four, so nine over to four. One, two, three, four, five. Five to the left means minus five. So guess what we have to do again? We have to go minus five again. So four minus five gives us negative one. And that's our answer. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay. Now I'm going to have you practice on your own. We'll probably do two or three practice problems and we'll be done for the day. Okay. So I want you to do number three on your own. Copy it down, press pause, do it on your own, and then press play. We'll come back and go over it together. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So we're going from two to 10. Well, from 2 to 10, we got to move to the right. So we know it's going to be plus, and we got to move 8 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So plus 8. And then this guy to get over here is going to be plus 8 again. It's that pattern. 10 plus 8 is 18. Okay, now we got to go from 4 to negative 8. Geez, that's a big jump. So 4 to negative 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 to the left. So that's minus 12, which means we have to do it again. Negative 8 minus 12. Do it, do it in your calculator. That would be the best thing to do. Okay, type it in. Punch it in. Negative 8 minus 12, and you're going to get negative 20. Okay. Number 4. Okay, you're going to do number four on your own, and then we'll call it a day. All right, so take a minute, copy it down, press pause, work on it, and press play when you're done. All right, let's get it. Okay, we're starting with our X's. We've got from negative four to six. 
from negative 4 to 6 means we're going to have to move to the right, so it's going to be plus. Let's see how many times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Where are we going? From negative 4? From negative 4 to positive 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Negative 4 to positive 6. I feel like that should be... Is it? I guess it's positive 10. i got to trust my gut there. So we have plus 10 again. Okay, so we have 6 plus 10 is 16. Okay, and let's do the y's now. I don't know why my brain was just do, having like a brain fart right there. 7 to negative 8. Shoot, we got to go from 7 all the way down to negative 8. That's we're moving left, so it's going to be minus. And let's see what we get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it's negative 5 minus 15 minus 15, which means we have to do that again. Negative 8 minus 15, I think, gives us negative 23. Okay, hopefully I did a good job explaining that lesson. Now you have a short homework assignment, and then you have a quiz on both to get done. Sound good? Appreciate you kids. Deuces. Later.